emergency response. Whether you believe in karma or not, tonight we have an uplifting lesson in what goes around comes around. 25 years ago today, a tragic fire killed two people in Northwest Washington, including a four-year-old child. But there were unbelievably heroic rescues as well. And it's what's happened since then that's likely to touch you the way it did our reporter, Scott Broom. It's fuzzy video from this day in 1988. A Washington, D.C. paramedic named Wilmer Scott doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on a six-year-old girl pulled lifeless from a burning home on Missouri Avenue. And here's an interview with Scott for the TV show Rescue 911. The first thing I heard was, this one's dead. I said, no. It was a life-changing night even for veteran rescuers. Two died, including a four-year-old child, but two other children, nearly given up for dead, were revived by heroic rescuers, including that six-year-old little girl. Hello, how are you? So now meet 31-year-old Jacqueline Cote, 25 years to the day after she is the one who was saved by the paramedics who wouldn't give up. It really is because of what he did that I'm here today. It's it was Cote's four-year-old sister who died, a memory she still carries forward. Hey, Chief Butts, it's Jackie. How are you? So here's the ending that might not surprise you. Cote has grown up to be the spokesman for a major regional fire EMS department, Howard County, Maryland. The men and women that I work with are heroes, and every day they put their heart into what they do. I think you're what they call living proof. Definitely. To know that, you know, that little girl that you saved actually grew up to be a part of the fire service and to make an impact in this way, I think is really important. It's really important to me getting up and coming to work every day, and, and I hope that it makes a difference, you know, here in the department as well. So what's become a firefighter, Wilmer Scott? Well, he is retired now, and thanks to some of Jackie's colleagues here in Howard County who used to work with Scott in Washington, they're in touch now and planning a reunion soon. EMS. In Columbia, so Maryland, Scott Brew, WUSA 9. And that reunion could happen as early as this weekend. What a story. That is incredible. Yeah. A lot of people have great plans for this weekend, mm -hmm. but that might be one of the best right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.